Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. Today we are going to play with one of the Le Beige Chanel Healthy Winter Glow blushes. I only have one, like, I can't. But we're also gonna do some comparisons and also a Do We Still Love Her with one of my Chanel eyeshadow palettes. So we're just hanging out today, it's a snow day here. And I thought it would be nice to have a healthy winter glow for when I go and dust off my car. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So how are you? Someone's coming down, let's see. Oh, they didn't come in. Okay. I'm doing well. Today is a Friday. It is the last day of the quarter, which I think they actually extended that for students until next week because this week was all jacked up with the snow and virtual days and things like that. But today was always a teacher work day, so there were gonna be no students and we had the choice when the weather was announced that it was you know going to be bad we had the choice to work at school or at home but then they completely closed schools so i'm working from home i was about to do that now that's not even right i have a schedule and i got my stuff i'm, I'm getting it together but i did want to put some makeup on before i start <laughs> So that's what we're gonna do today. I hope you are safe and warm wherever you are. And if you don't have snow, that's a plus. So let's get into this blush. The blush that I purchased is called the Le Beige Winter Glow Healthy Winter Glow Blush. It is $72. Destroy. There's nothing I can say. There's no justification. It's $72. And it came in three shades. Now, no, I will say this though. This is Jammy's fault, okay? That, that's what I will say if, if we're gonna be honest here. It's her fault. <laughs> but I have had a thing about Chanel blushes in all honesty, and I only have two, but there are two that I use a lot. So the $72 price tag, it is wow. It is, I'm not even gonna lie. But Jammy did help me with, and Jamie, because first of all, you couldn't even get your hands on these blushes. I think that they released, the reviews were going up in 2023, the, the end, but they were not even available on the Chanel site. So I think people have their own sales associates and things like that where they're able to get their hands on these products a little bit ahead of time. And I'm, I don't know if it's allowed, not allowed. I really don't know, but I don't have that kind of access and I don't have any Chanel boutiques around here. So if something comes up and it's available, like this particular blush was available at Nordstrom, I just grabbed it. The blushes are now on the Chanel website, but they weren't on before, so. I'm not even sure if this is a 2024 release or 2023, but it seems like it has been readily available in 2024. I just had to get that out the way before we get into the technical stuff. In all seriousness, if you have not checked out my friend Jammy over I'm Jamila, please check her out. She does have a video where she does a demo of two of these Healthy Glow blushes because there were three shades. She also has a richer skin tone than I do, so you're definitely able to, between the two of us, see how the blush will show up. I will have that video linked in the description box. If you check out her video, leave her a flamingo and that way she'll know that you're coming from me. All right, now we can really get into it. This blush is part of an entire collection called the Le Beige Healthy Winter Glow. I'm just gonna pop up some pictures and just tell you everything that's in the collection, but the focus is gonna be on the blush. Inspired by trips to the mountains, this latest collection offers a new makeup routine that wakes up the complexion, giving it the reinvigorated look of a day spent in the great outdoors. Cheekbones are accentuated by a hint of pink, eyes are enhanced with a harmony of shimmering frosty shades, and lips appear beautiful with a slight flush for a healthy looking glow that exudes softness and a feeling of utter freedom. So the first product in the collection is sold out. I know Jammy got one of them. It is the Healthy Winter Glow Primer, which came in three shades. There was a frosty white, an icy beige, and a light copper. I do believe that that primer 
was a limited edition item and they're sold out that that ship has sailed <laughs> i'm going to talk about the blush last because that's what the video is all about skipping to the eyeshadow palette we have the healthy glow natural eyeshadow palette now this palette comes in seven shades but the new shade for this collection is in the shade cool the palette's the same price as the blush the primer was 54 dollars and i did watch a video demoing this palette by sophia sees beauty so i will link her channel in the description box it was really cute it's not something that you can't dupe and you probably do have something like this in your collection it's these frosty mauve tones and if you like a lot of depth in your eyeshadows i don't think you would get that from this eyeshadow palette but i do like the frosty vibe i think it really goes well with this healthy glow collection also it looks like there are three rouge cocoa bombs in this collection as well I have not tried the Rouge Coco Bombs, but I have tried the Rouge Coco. I don't know the difference between them all, but they are a hydrating, beautifying tinted lip balm. So we have 936 Chilling Pink, 938 Keep Cool, which that, that would be the one for me. And then 940, which is Cocoon, and these are $45. Looks like there's two nail polishes. They are 32. That's not going to be a part of what I'm doing. And I thought there was one of those balm essentials, but I don't see that on this page. So we're not even going to talk about that. Let's get into the blush though. The Healthy Winter Glow Blush is a flurry of color, like a gust of air that kisses cheeks, a smooth powder that comes in three subtly pearlescent hues, an exclusive creation embossed with a crisp snowflake and the double C monogram housed in the iconic rounded square case, a blush that leaves the complexion looking radiant even in winter. As I mentioned, there are three shades we have the first one, which is Rose Polaire, which is our lightest shade. I do think that would show up very well on my skin. Next we have, hold on, I gotta look up pronunciation. Givre. 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 Huh? Come on, Ma fenêtre est un jardin de givre. Wait a minute. Uh, everything needs to stop. What'd you say? We're going to drop this. We're going to drop We're going where? That's right. We're you have a surprise for me. My eyes are closed. <gasps> I love this. Oh my gosh. I love this. And August made me one too. I love this sunflower, Marky. This is fantastic. Yeah. It is? Yes, it is. It is. Is it, is it for me, right? Yes. Okay, can I sit it here? Yes. All right. Thank you, Marky. Can you, hey. Thank you. Now I got to show you August because his feelings will be hurt. My mom's doing lessons with them, so it's very, very helpful. Let's get back to this because I, this, I, this done, they done got out of control here. Hold on. Givre. Givre. It means frost. Who knew? Had no idea. Givre. Jiva. That's hard to say. Cora, coral jiva. That's jiva. All right, thank you. So coral is coral frost. The rose polar, polar is polar, Arctic. I know we could probably figure that one out. After all that, let's get into the one that I have, which is mauve glacé. The mauve glacé, glacé is something that's made or finished to have a smooth, glossy surface. So we're talking about ice, glaze, like a mirror, something glossy. That's what mauve glacé is. In case you didn't know, a lot of y'all might know, but you know, I like to do the definitions. So the packaging. I can't deny that when I purchase something from Chanel that I'm excited about the packaging. And when you purchase luxury beauty or what's perceived to be luxury beauty, it's this whole notion of the packaging providing an experience. I don't know, for me, it just makes me feel fancy. That's the long and short of it. I also do know that the products that I've purchased from Chanel, I don't have a huge 
collection and I can't afford to really have a huge Chanel collection. So I really do cherish the things that I have from Chanel and I really enjoy using them and I find myself using the products pretty often. As I mentioned earlier, the blush comes in the round square case and you do see that beautiful snowflake embossing on the blush with the double CC monogram. And what I like about this embossing is I've worn this blush already and it's still there. It's not something that's gonna wipe off during your first use. So that does make me really happy. So let's go ahead and take a swatch of this blush and see what it looks like on my hand. So this is what mauve glace looks like. I think you might be able to see that there is some radiance to this blush. Let me do it on my other hand because I did put on uh, the fit. Actually, I'm going to do it down here because I have on that Fenty cinnamon shimmering, whatever it is that I really like. So let's put it down here just for accuracy. Right. So you can see there that there is some radiance to this shade. I think it's a beautiful shade. Unique, no, it is not that, but it is a really pretty shade. So I think this will come down to, do you like the finish of the blush? So let's look at the directions. How to apply, you know, I always like to look at this stuff. It says to use the included brush to sweep Le Beige Healthy Winter Glow blush onto the tops of cheekbones, along cheeks, on the forehead, and on the bridge of the nose for a subtle winter flush. I have never used these little brushes because there was one that came with the bronzer and you know they have the little ones and the eyeshadows. I never used those, but why not? Let's do it. So I'm just going in with this. I've never used these before, so bear with me. I might still end up using my preferred brush. Now, I do want to share that this is a buildable blush. I am very happy about that. The reason why is because I have blushes that, I mean, you put a little bit on and it's clown city on me. I think for someone with a richer tone, you might feel like this is not going to do it for you unless you really build it up and we can try to see how built up we can get. But there's one I'll show you like my Wayne guys, Vivid Azalea. You put on too much of that, you've already lost and I will have to either take it off or tone it down some kind of way. So I prefer a buildable blush. I also do not have textured skin. So having this kind of dewiness here, I, I love that. Now on my face for foundation, I do have on the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Foundation, the serum foundation. So I know that one's kind of a, a dewy or more radiant foundation, but if you wear an all matte foundation, I think you're going to still see some luminosity that's gonna come from this blush. But because pretty much all of the base products I use have a, a dewier finish, is really you're really gonna see a more radiance but i think this is so pretty and you know what that brush isn't half bad it is not half bad i am not mad at the brush actually so you know what i'm gonna stop <laughs> i'm gonna stop talking about these little brushes that come with the luxury products so there you go i got the little red nose and then they said you could put some on your forehead. I'm not adding any more uh, blush, but if there's anything that's on here, you can see it at the top. I also, with my base makeup, I also do have on a couple of Chanel products. I'm going all out of order here, but I don't want to forget. Oh, I look cold. So for my moisturizer, I have this Le Lift Cream, and this is a face cream. I don't know what it's supposed to do. It's just a sample I had from something else. And I have the Le Lift Cream Eye Cream <laughs> as well. I'm also wearing the Chanel Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. And this is in Tan Deep Bronze. I put this away for like a whole year. And I brought it out and I was like, I'm not sure if this is dried up or not. I don't know if the consistency is the same. I really can't tell, but it smells and works 
exactly how it worked last year. So, you know, once you mess up that little swirl, it just looks really ugly. It does. But it's, it's definitely in perfect condition. I love this bronzer. I have tried several bronzers since this one. And when I pulled this back out, I was like, wow, I do see why people really love this because it, the way it melts in the skin, like it's not a heavy cream and it's not a powder. It's the, just the right formulation. So that's what I have on from Chanel and we'll do a lipstick. Let's go to the other side, other side. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush this time. And I'll show you, I don't know if this brush is going to be the right one. This is from real techniques because you really have to be able, like when you go into it and go like that, like there's no powder coming off or anything like that. So I would say if you don't want to use the little brush that's included, which actually is decent, like it's going on my face, you know what I mean? But it's going to take a lot of swirling, like nothing's coming off. So you might want to use a denser brush. The other brush I pulled out was this one from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is just a powder brush, I guess. So there it is. And this one actually puts a little more on. But I, that little brush that's included did better than both. I'll be out in a minute to make your lunch. You can come back in. I'm just saying I'm going to be out in a minute to make your lunch. Oh, I love this blush, y'all. See, and, and here's my thing. I need not to get clouded by the fact that it's Chanel. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks so different. I'm like, is it looking different because it's Chanel and I paid a lot for it, so it, it better look different? Or, you know, is this really a nice blush? I am leaning to believe that this is a really nice blush. Because I'll show you the other two that I have that I absolutely adore. So I'm thinking I just like the blush. We will get to that shortly, but why don't we just finish the rest of the, do we wanna do comparisons first? Just to get it out the way and then do the do we still love her at the end? I think that's what we should do in case people don't wanna stay around for the comparisons. And then I can put the timestamps in there because that's just rude. Like if I could give everybody the knowledge that they, they need, you know, to decide what they wanna do or not do or go about their day, let's just do that first. And then we'll do the do we still love her at the end. I'm gonna put a lipstick on though. No, I'm not. So let's grab the other Chanel blushes that I have and then we'll do the comparisons. See? Cause the time is, time is important. You don't get time back. Time is our greatest gift. But why would I put the comparisons at the end? No. Not yet. I haven't said yet, but I have water in my mouth. That's all right. So the first Chanel blush that had me on this downhill track is the, the chains. Yes. Okay. Lost it. Rebought it. I lost my brush. I don't know where that is. It's somewhere around here. The chains are actually starting to come off. So you can see that I am really, really wearing this one. Now this one I believe is still available for purchase. It is. And they have the chains like um, highlighters, I believe as well. But the chains blush it's only one color. Now I can do a comparison video of all three of my Chanel blushes or we could just do one for each. Maybe we'll do one for each because I'm not trying to overwhelm anybody. This is one of my favorite red blushes. Like don't talk to me about it. It's going to be hands down there. It's pretty much tied with Hourglass at night. Hourglass just had a little bit of a leg up with the at night blush for me because of the little ambient technology. But this is so beautiful. And you know what this is reminding me of actually wasn't uh, available at the time or created, I don't think. But I think that the RMS blushes will give you a very, very similar finish as the chains. And the chains, does it have more of a shimmer than healthy glow? I'm not sure actually, but I love the chains. Just had to share chains. chains. The second blush that I have from Chanel is called blush Comet, and it's in the shade Corel et Let me know how I did with that. Now this was the blush. I don't even know if I did a video on this because this is the one that had the star but then like if you went like this, you can see the two CCs, but you can see, see that that's long gone. CC. Yeah, you can see, see that is long gone. Oh, you mean the, the letter? Yeah, the, like the little two Cs, the Chanel Cs. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can. I was just making a joke. Like, you can CC. Whatever. So, I want the coral of the healthy glow. But then I was like, I have this. And I'm not really sure how it will compare. Like, is this one more matte? So, here's Corel Etoile. I would say there's still some radiance in it. Not sure if it's as much as what we get in the healthy glow. They're very similar, but that's why I was not sure if I wanted to purchase another coral one because I have this one. I love Corel Etoile, and now I'm adding our beautiful mauve glacé to the collection. So I have three you know, different blushes and I love them. Let's go into the comparisons. I can't wait to show you the blushes that I pulled out. Mm -hmm. That's not on the way. Why are we whispering about that? Can I tell him what you want? August wants these, I'll have to pop a picture up. He wants these pillow sneakers. They're was my hair there's uh they're like they look like sneakers but they're i mean they're, yeah they look like sneakers but they're slippers they and they're very soft but he wants to get them on the way to mimi's if we go tomorrow and it's not on the way but i will go it's snow out here i don't even know yes we have to see it's still snowing all right let me talk about these blushes so here we go. We are going to go shovel. When I do comparisons of something, I do go through my collection, but I start with what comes to mind. So some of these may be a little bit off and I may X them from the list. The first one I brought out is from Lethal Cosmetics and this is one of their single blushes in the shade Pansy. And I just like to have like some alternatives and just it may remind you of something that you have in your collection and you might be like, OK, like I really don't really don't want the Chanel one. So let's just take a gander here at Pansy. Now I think Pansy has a bit of a different tone. It is definitely stronger, but it's not too far off as far as the, the shade family, but you are getting more purple because mauve includes purple, but this is giving us a little more purple there. And I think would be, beautiful on a richer skin tone like i can see jamie why don't you get buy this it's not 72 dollars <laughs> look at the poor mailman oh my gosh the man that is so sad my sephora order supposed to be here today. um okay excuse me they can't see you I was gonna pop a picture up. Oh, you getting a picture? So look, uh, these are. Um, Hold on. Oh my God. I don't want the exact one. He doesn't want these exact ones, but that's what he's talking about. So they look like Jordans, or they look like a lot of sneakers, like um, the Yeezys. They have something to look like the but Yeezys. Let me show. Let me show those. Okay, while he shows you that, I'm gonna show y'all this. We have the Dior Rosy Glow Blush, and this one is in the shade Berry. I think Berry's going to be along the line. Mm, no, Berry is way too dark. It's darker than this, but let's just swatch it. Because it might, okay, that's way too dark. These are the easy ones. These are the easy ones. Yeah, these are, those are the ones that look like the Yeezys. So hopefully when we get them, August, well, it's no hopefully. I'm sure when we get them, August will let y'all know. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, even from here, the berry shade is way, way too dark. So right now I don't have any, any dupes for the mauve glacé, but we might. So next I have the blush color infusion by Laura Mercier. And this is in the shade very berry. I'm not really even sure what prompted me to purchase this when I did, but I was wondering how they compared to hourglass because it was supposed to have some powder infusion in it. And I was just intrigued. So let's see what this looks like. This is a really nice blush though. I still think it's a little bit berry for what we're uh, comparing here. Oh, now I think that, let's see, this one might be the closest out of all of them, but mauve glacé has 
some pinkier notes in it or tones. I'm talking about fragrance now. It's, it's pinkier to me. So the berry is including a lot more purple. So these are a bit deeper, but I have more. Hold on. I did want to also bring out my Weightless Veil Blush Palette. This is Vivid Azalea from Wayne Goss. This is the one, y'all, where I was like, clown city, clown, clown city on me. But when I brought out Pansy, I thought about Vivid Azalea, but Vivid Azalea is not gonna be close. It's, look at this, but you can just see how pretty it is. I think these are still available. I got these from Beautylish. Remember these were like a huge deal? It's really not that, off but it's still really deep i think for me it's the buildability of the chanel one where i put it on and i'm not like oops because that's what happens with vivid azalea i have rms blushes here again i think the finish is similar but like really really close but the shades that i have in the rms blushes are not going to be close to the chanel i don't think sangria there's sangria the sangria is more red maiden's blush i think maiden's blush would give me more tones uh close to the the chains blush actually that would be a comparison for another time there's our chanel blush i have night bloom sitting here from auntie pat let's see because i don't know if it's mama pat anymore um let's uh, this is another one very clownish on me if I'm not really paying attention. You can kind of diffuse that out, maybe pick up more of the, the reds, but I don't know. I don't think anything is a dupe really. And even if it was, I probably wouldn't care, but I'm just, just saying. Now, the last thing I have is my NARS Afterglow blush palette. And I feel like when in doubt, that NARS Afterglow blush palette is all I need in life. Let's just see if there's anything in here. I feel like I've now lumped the mauve with the berry. And I don't think that's accurate. Berry is deeper, I would say. So I know this one right here is really close to the Chains blush. We have a coral here that could be close to Corel de Trois. But I think the only thing that could really be close to the mauve would be the shade flirt which is this one but i don't i don't think that's going to do it and the finish is definitely not going to do it I don't, I don't think so so yeah the nars is here so you can see that's close to pansy so you know what mauve glacé is in a category of its own so let me give you my final thoughts about the blush overall and then if you want to stick around and see me do an eye look and put on a lipstick so I can put myself together and actually do some work, you can stay tuned. Overall, I love this blush. I really want all three of them, to be honest with you. So it's not even helping that I have a possible near dupe with this shade right here. I really don't care. I love this finish. I think the finish is so radiant. I want to go to the slopes, okay? And you know I don't like cold. But if I was going to the slopes, and the closest I'm gonna get to that is getting the snow off my car and maybe doing a little bit of shoveling of the driveway, I am prepared. I look like I'm outside. I look like I have been outside skiing in Aspen. You know, I just gotta fake it till I make it. That's how I feel. I do not regret paying the price that I paid for the blush because I know from my track record, I'm gonna use it. So that's how I feel about the blush. I really wish I could have gotten my hands on the primer because the primer had a really nice iridescence to it. And I think overall as a collection with the um, with the cool eyeshadow palette. I think it's a nice little vibe. I put the girls on my thumbnail. Did y'all see the girls? I think it looks really, really nice. Okay, do we still love her today? We're gonna go ahead and play with the tweeds. Do y'all remember the tweeds? $88 for this little piece of tweed. That's the closest to a Chanel tweed suit. I'm gonna, you know what? What could I? Tyrone said we could do with this. I can't remember. Oh, he said an oven mitt. You can't even. Okay, no, that's not happening. But I have my little piece of Chanel tweed history here. 
and I have pretty much no tweed on the tweed eyeshadow. So this is what Fauve is looking like right now. And I do like my Chanel shadows. I think they have a really nice formula. I mean, is it $88 expensive or $60 uh, expensive worthy shadows? Probably not. Kind of seems like that's almost not the point. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now, when it comes to shades here, we just have light, medium, medium, and dark. I mean, it's, it's very simple. And you know what? Sometimes I am here for that level of simplicity because all the shade names and rigmarole, I'm just not sometimes in the mood for it. I'm going to just do something quick, easy, and effective, and then we're going to get out of here. So I'm going to go into the medium shade here. I have a Linda Hallberg 304 brush. And I'm just going to put that in the transition area, you know, because I got to get my little eyes ready to go get my um, car cleaned off. You can see some sheen, but it's really not doing anything because it's close to my skin tone. But if you were lighter than me or maybe even deeper, you know, you would be able to see that nice sheen. But I don't feel as though you can see it on me. And that's OK. This is a little peach satin shimmer I don't, none of these are really like shimmer shimmers actually that's not true this one is a little bit of a shimmery shimmer but it's not you know it's not like your indie shimmers i'm gonna go into this shade here i almost just want to do a one and done i wish i had something a little more pink now i really like the look of this shadow right here and again it's not really going with the frosty healthy glow vibe but that's okay all over the lid is going to be fine for me today. Ooh, I actually like that. Sometimes these one and done looks are just the best for me. They're just so simple and natural. And I said this in another video. This is what my students like. They hate when I wear a whole bunch of like eyeshadow shimmers and stuff. They, and they will tell me. They'll be like, what did we tell you about this? I'm like, excuse me? Going into the brown honestly i probably should have used my candor at seduction quint because that one has the reds and the pinks but it's too late and i do feel like i mean it's coming up fine but i could probably take a little bit of tape to the shadows here because you can see that where the tweed wiped off like from rubbing it looks a little bit hard pan you see where you see that shine there so it's not having an issue with the brush or anything. It's, it's picking up fine on the brush, but just saying. I and mean, that's really all I want to do with this. And I mean, you could do this with pretty much any neutrals that you have. So just definitely, you know, do I love her? Do I still love her? I mean, I like it. I don't know if it's a love. I'm going into this kind of terracotta shade again with my Singe Beauty brush I love this brush so much it comes into a nice point I feel like it's a little dirty but I'm just taking it under the eyes just a little bit and then I'm gonna go into the shimmer I'm gonna keep the same brush and I'm gonna spray it they did have a pinky tweed quad though that would have been perfect with this but you know I was only getting one because they're definitely not worth the $88 unless you're gonna like unless you're almost like a little makeup historian you know where you're like wanting to have this to reference or something like that but mm, I can't even afford to be a damn makeup historian truth be told I need to stop playing that game with myself so yeah I think that looks really nice I mean it's chill you know what I mean it's chill we're gonna figure out a lipstick and then I'll do my liner and mascara. We'll close this out. So I have three here to choose from. We'll figure out the best one. My gut says a Demi Mott. This is a Demi Mott and it is a Rouge Allure. Oh, these came out, was it fall of 2022 or 23? I can't remember, but I think it was part of a fall collection. I wanna say 2022 because I don't think I got any Chanel lipsticks in 2023. I could be lying, but I don't think I did. So there's, oh my gosh, I love this shade. All right, that's the one I was gonna go with. 
Oh my gosh, I love this shade. I love it. That's the one I was like, yes, I'm gonna go with that. But let me just show you the other two. Alter Ego is another favorite. I wear Alter Ego all the time. I didn't bring out Adrian. Adrian is my baby. But I did not bring out Adrian today. So there's Alter Ego. So you can see it's a little bit deeper. And lastly, we have the Rouge Allure Velvet. Okay, so this one came out with the Comet blush because it has the star here on the back. And this is Terre de Toi. De Toi. It's like of the stars or land of the stars or something like that. I can't remember. But the whole thing with that collection was like this whole star theme and there was jewelry and such. It was so pretty. Okay, all my lipsticks are like around the same color because that's what I like to do. This is a different finish. This is velvet, but no, nope, we're going with a Demi Mott because that's what I said. A lot of times, you know, I've just gotta go with my gut. I cannot wait to get my wires uh, tightened because these clear rubber bands that are now yellow, never again, never again, honey. I'm zooming into myself. And when I'm editing, like first I was mad about my tooth that was out of place at the bottom. Now you can really see my tooth out of place right there. And the yellow rubber bands. Can't win. But this lipstick is, and you don't need a liner or anything. Like this is one of my favorite lipstick shades. It is so good. I'll be back with my liner and mascara and then we will close this friends. out. Okay, friends, I am back with the finished look. And you know, I realized I am now becoming super spoiled with eyeliners. I'm gonna have to do a video about it because I'm, I'm trying to circulate, right? I'm trying to go back into my collection and use things that I haven't been using because what happens is I get fixated on a certain product and then I won't use other ones. So y'all probably know I have been fixated on the Victoria Beckham liners for about a year. Part of that probably comes from how expensive they are and the other part comes from the fact that they're really good and they stay in the waterline very nicely. I'm having a great time with these and no regrets from purchasing them. I did not purchase them in 2023. I purchased them in 2022 because she was saying there was gonna be a price increase. So everything was 20% off and then I got the vault. I have like seven of them. I love these, like I, I need them with me all the time. But I decided to go to Char, Charlotte Tilbury, and I was like, let me go ahead and let's use one of these double ended liners because I thought, I'm not saying they aren't good. I, I felt like they were good. I don't know if mine are drying up or I need to sharpen them or get like a base layer off, but I wanted to use the one from Mesmerizing Maroon. You can't even see, where is it? Oh, right here, right here. <laughs> But I was trying to use the matte side. I tried to use the shimmer side. And like they're going fine on here. But I don't have time to be fooling around. I don't have time to fool around. You want to know why? Because this, friends, this Melt Slick Waterline Eye Pencil, I got this for $5. And I, when I tell you, these might top the Victoria Beckham ones. I lied to you not. I have one Chanel eyeliner and I don't know where it is. And it came out with the Chains Blush and the Candor at Seduction Quad, which I don't think is available anymore. So it's kind of red and I, I really didn't want that. So I decided to opt for Rich Brown. You can use these on your skin. I'm telling you, like if you wanted to conceal something or highlight, I'm talking about the light colored ones, that's how creamy they are. It's, it's insane to me, $5. They're not $5 anymore, but they'll probably be back down to $5 again. I'm just giving y'all all the information because this is important. We need to save our money. We can't be scraping in the waterline. Unacceptable in 2024, unacceptable. All right, friends, let's wrap this up before I'm here all day because I could definitely be here chit-chatting to y'all all day long. I told you my final thoughts about the blush earlier. So if you kept watching past that and you're still here, leave me a flamingo in the comment section, y'all, because that's our animal. That is our reminder that we need to have balance. Flamingos can do it on one leg and they do it with beauty and grace and so can we in 2024. Gone are the days of running ourselves ragged. Gone are the days of milking ourselves to a pulp. <laughs> um, I don't want to milk ourselves to a pulp. You know what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean. So leave me a flamingo <laughs> in the comment section if you feel so inclined. I'll let me know that you made it this far. <laughs> okay. 
the eyeshadow do we love it no not this one not 88 dollars. do i like this look yes can i get it from something else yes i can get it from a lot of things so you know it was nice looking at the tweed on there i think it was amazing how they were able to get that tweed print and texture from eyeshadow but i almost feel like i shouldn't have used it i know we buy makeup to use but this particular quad the intricacy of the tweed pattern that was there made from powder powder that you put on your eyes i think was a remarkable feat so i almost wish that i had the tweeds but i didn't use it and i know that sounds completely ridiculous the lip products i absolutely love i ever since i tried like my first Chanel lip product and I love the Rouge Allure formula. The blush is an absolute yes though. Absolutely, I would buy it again. Still want another shade. So that's where I'm at on the Healthy Glow and then the other products, the bronzer, I already told you, I absolutely love the bronzer and I won't be indulging too much in the Chanel skincare. It's really, really expensive and there are so many affordable skincare options, but I am gonna use up my samples. And I think the biggest, <laughs> the biggest surprise of everything was the fact that this brush actually is not bad. <laughs> Did y'all know that? Okay, let me let y'all get out of here because now I am rambling. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. And I will see y'all really, really soon. Bye. Go block your ears.